Well, starting tomorrow, hundreds of thousands of people are going to flock to Balloon Fiesta Park for the 42nd annual Fiesta. That means the roads, as you know, they're going to be a pack, particularly on that Saturday that it begins. News 13 Samantha McDonald is live out at the field to tell you how to beat the traffic. Hope you have some good tips, Sam. I do, Matt. I do have some tips for you. It could be a headache for many people trying to get to Fiesta Park. Uh, but yes, I do have some tips and security this year is going to be tighter and a little more widespread. So when you get here, parking is $10 and it's $8 at the gate. Officials recommend you get in a couple hours before the balloons take off to avoid the heavy traffic. That means get here 5 a.m. for the 7 a.m. launch. And if you're coming from the west side, it's recommended you come to the Fiesta off of Alameda and those coming from Santa Fe or the Northeast Heights. Your best bet is to take I-25 and access the Fiesta from the tramway. And new this year, surveillance cameras. They're provided by the FBI. They're set up all around the field and they're monitored 24-7. Expect hundreds of officers, police, fire, FBI, and National Guard all around. And parents, tag your children to identify them in case they're lost. Plan to meet at the Loveless Tent if you get separated. Officers say as many as 400 children get separated from their parents every year. And their biggest concern is keeping everyone safe and healthy. I feel like we've done the best we can. And I feel like I've got the best of the best out here. And there's no doubt in my mind that we can deal with anything that comes up. And Matt and Kristen, for anyone who can't make it out to Fiesta Park, you can watch our show live. We'll be out here all week. I'm really excited. This is my first Fiesta. All right, Matt, you are actually. in for a real <laughs> treat, Samantha. I got friends coming in from all across the country, their first Fiesta as well. Thank you for the updates on the traffic, which you do got to beat. In fact, hey, I'd recommend getting there at 4 o'clock instead of 5. We'll see you in another half hour. Other pointers, bring a flashlight in the morning or at night, dress in layers. Because it does heat up as soon as the sun pops over the Sandias. Make sure you wear th sunscreen and thieves beware. APD is setting up bait. If you take it, you try to rip off some people's stuff, you could wind up in jail. Don't represent Albuquerque like that. 534, it is a big day for APS students too. Hot air balloons are supposed to be launching from the playgrounds at 55 APS elementary schools this morning for the annual Albuquerque Aloft. It's the first flying event of the International Balloon Fiesta. Look for the balloons to go up about 7 o'clock this morning. That is all dependent on the winds. Kristen's going to talk about that in a little bit. Our David Romero should be out at Zia Elementary starting at 7. We'll see what happens there live this morning from 7 to 9 on 2 Casa this morning. Please join us then. It's a real treat for all of these kids. All right, a Santa Fe City Councilor wants to kick street performers off the city's famous plaza. Chris Calvert is proposing banning so-called buskers from all but five small areas of downtown and tightening up the restrictions already in place. The city says more than 200 street performers are registered and licensed with the city right now more than in the past. Mr. Calvert says some are nothing more than beggars who create too much noise and block access to businesses, but a lot of people disagree, including one performer we talk with says kicking him off the plaza completely simply isn't fair. It's my own freedom of speech. I mean, let's just say, am, am I not allowed to play music for free on the plaza? Because I'm going to contest that, man. The proposal is set to get its first public hearing in a little less than two weeks. We'll keep you updated about that. APS is now sending out a warning to parents from Polk Middle School after students were found there playing with a bat. On Wednesday, in that bat, well, it tested positive for rabies. The schools identified six students who were playing with the rabbit bat, so the district sent home letters to parents Thursday, yesterday, because they're worried there could be more students who are playing with the bat. Some parents want to know why they didn't find out about this right away when it first happened. I find out now when she gets out of school to see what's actually going on. This is their second home. I want them to be safe in their second home. I know they're safe at my home. Six students who have been identified thus far got their first round of rabies vaccine last night with three more rounds to go over the next two weeks. Here, those shots are painful. Well, a warning for parents this morning, a drug with some scary side effects is completely legal and targeted toward kids, according to police. Katie Kim showed us about it on special assignment last night. It's called salvia. It's known to produce hallucinations almost immediately after it is smoked. The high is short lived, but very scary. One man in Albuquerque who smoked this salvia told us friends were having seizures and then threatening to jump out of windows. The drug is legal and can even be bought in some smoke shops, but police say there's no secret about who the target of this drug is. When you see, you know, packaging like this, 
who is their target? Their target is kids, unfortunately. It's definitely affordable for a kid who's getting their allowance every week to buy a pack of salvia for $8, yes. It's another thing parents got to worry about out there. To watch all of Katie's report, which you should do, go to krqe.com anytime or tune in tonight at 2 Casa Fox.